Hello and welcome to Tech. I'm Mohammad Adnan, and in this video, we are going to discuss about the infographic visual in Microsoft Power BI. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. Now coming back to this one, infographic visual is so beautiful that you can set any images. In this example, I used the gender image which is uh, which comes in default for the male female and other i will show you how it looks and how it can be achieved for that first of all you need to go to this visualization tab and you need to import the visual either from the file if you have already downloaded from the marketplace or you can directly download it from your marketplace for that you need to sign into your microsoft power bi account you can download the visuals from there I have made a video about that how to import the visuals from Microsoft Power BI App Source. If you have not seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Once it is downloaded, you will get an option here like this this small flower icon infographic. For this, I need the data. The data I have created here, something like this gender table that is a gender and count of genders and it is a states and a year. For this, I have made a video about the how we can create a static table and how we can edit the table as well. If you have not seen that, just click on the link given on top of your screen. Now coming back to this one, we just click on this icon and drag and drop to the size of the page. And in the gender table, you just need to drag and drop these things. The category is gender. And then the count is the measure. By default, it will load like the column visual. You can change it later on. You go to this format tab, you have an option like chart. Either you can use column or you can use the bar or you can use the line diagram. I just want to keep it the bar. If you Mouse over to the visual, the actual infographic visual. On the right top side, you can see the pencil icon that is edit mark. I just need to click on that. It will open up a small window here. And this is a shape 01. If you click on this one, you have an option called insert shape. If you click on that, they have given many shapes here basic shapes are these and biz and technical shapes food and drink household items nature people transportation and if you have any custom picture you can even upload the custom picture as well in this example i'm going to use the people here so you can select the people so it also created the shape too i don't need that you can delete this option the shape too even you can add the text here to show the value of the male and female count even you can insert the picture this is a list of the images here a list of the objects here and this is a layer order and these visual settings this is the test series count is the default the background color just want to keep it to transparent so it goes off now coming back to home here we have shape in this shape i just want to click here and i want to select the male and value color is on so it turns on the image on the shape you have one more option this there's something like a hyperlink data binding is off you can click on that and then select the gender even you can change the visual type to each and every gender for the male i want to keep this one and for female i want to keep this and for others i just want to keep this one click on apply mm. this changes now go back the next option is multiple units 
that is multiple units by row and by column this will cover on later on and then the next is the fill percentage if you click on the none it will automatically calculate what is the value of it and it will resize the image according to that if you want to count something like that and you want to fill it based on the data then what will happen it will just take the maximum value inside that value in this example male has the major value so the male fills 100 percent out of that what is the percent of the female it will fill according to that and what is the percent of other it will fill according to that so i just click on none here and value color is on by default it is green and if you want to change you can also change it uh, for each and every category just click on this data binding and i want to select to gender for male it is green for female it is black and others is red click on apply the color also changed now going back to this one the unit background This also I will cover in the in few minutes. The keep ratio is on or off. If you want to off this one, if you want to on, then it resize the images. Better to keep it off so it will resize the image. And then the fill direction it is from left to right or right to left or top to bottom or bottom to top. And it is default is auto. So next is a layer option here inner bound or outer bound let it be by default as it is now going on to the format tab again i mean the fields tab again there is an option called legend here and also the column by and row by so i want to drag and drop the year on the legend if you see the visual it just split her up with this 222 because there are two years of this 17 and 18 but if you notice the colors have not changed as it is highlighted on the legend the green and the black it has to change male one green and one black female one green and one black and others one green and one black right here's the place where you can set the unit background you have an option called unit background click on that and you need to click again on data binding in that you can select the year and in the color tab i want to select it to yellow play and for this i would like to select something like this click apply back and you need to change also the legend color so go to this one so to match this one what i will do is i will just uh, take on this one value color i want to change it to something like this apply go back and for this one i want to set it to the default color apply and back so what happened is as per the 2017 this color and 2018 this color 17 this and this 17 and 18 and this is for male female and others okay so we have covered the unit background and uh, we have one more option here is column by or row by we have select state and drag and drop to column by it will split it up the data based on the state automatically that's the beauty of this infographic visual so i have three states over there up ap and tn so it is split of each and every state with the legend that is by year 2017 and 18 and by category male female and others so cool right if you want to do it by row by row even you can do that just drag and drop the state field to row by row it splits to row by row that is so a horizontal a vertical way if you go by column it goes on the horizontal way that's the difference between these two so now i want to add the value of it 
So what I will do, I will just click on the insert text here. So it creates the text here and I want to data bind that. Text color is black. I want to data bind that. Click on that data binding to count and it is rounded to one point. Apply back. I want to give it a color of white. Click OK. So you can see the data values are here and I want to change the size to 20 so you can see this one. I want to change the direction, even the font size. Okay. So if you want to go back to shape again, you just need to click on this icon click on shape one so we'll get these options here the multiple units or if you click on that it will split up the data like this one based on the sizes available here so don't need that you just click on off so it will stretch and you to only one visual so these are the features of infographic visual in microsoft power bi if you like this video please click on the like big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification but make sure you turn on the notification and also share it with your friends and colleagues I also post your comments feedbacks in the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning and see you in the next video